Hey guys, what's going on? So it's been a little while. So this is just a day in the life of a social worker. So I just wanna update you guys on what's been going on. So as you guys know um, from my last social work video, we have been working um, from home. And we were rotating for the past two months, but pretty much for the month of April, month of May and half of June. We were working from home, rotating schedules, you know, um, rotating two or three on site a week at a time. So um, we recently went back to work on June 15th. Everyone had to report back to on site. And, you know, I, of course I have mixed feelings about that. You know, working from home, there's pros and cons to that. But I'm home in my own environment, in my own space, in my own zone. Whereas going back to the office, it is an office and we literally, everybody has individual, they're, they're kind of, I don't want to say cubbies because they're not like cubicles, but we do have desks inside this one huge office. Now, lucky for me, I sit towards the back. So on one side of me, it's like a random table where the air conditioner actually um faces so there's no one there on the other side of me i do have a desk and someone does sit there so it's been a little challenging because again working in the hospital you're walking around you have to keep your mask on for eight hours of the day pretty much the only time you take the mask off is to take a break or to eat your food other than that we are supposed to wear masks at all times which is annoying um exhausting <laughs> and i don't know how many times i can say annoying now i have acne prone skin so i actually purchased my own mask because they are literally giving us like one mask a week and to me i'm not doing that so i purchased my own mask and i do a mask a day but to tell me i have to wear this mask a week we're not doing that not about that life mm -mm. spend way too much money on skincare to be messing up my face like no but anywho so we are back on site, as I mentioned before. So there's about, right now, I'm trying to think, there's about one, two, three, four, five of us in the office spread out. So which is pretty good because it's like every other desk. So that's pretty good. Um, it's still hard because again, and we do, because, um, we're on, in our, when we're sitting at our own spots in our own desk in our own section, we do take our mask off and on. And when we go in the hallways, then you have to keep your mask on. Anywhere through the whole hospital, you have to keep your mask on. So with that being said, the hospital now, I could tell you, COVID cases has definitely dropped. With every unit was COVID prior. Now the only COVID units are, of course, on the respiratory floors, which happen to be my units. So I work on level nine and I have a respiratory floor and a med surge floor and an ICU. Medical ICU is also on level nine. I don't cover medical ICU but it is um a covid unit so the whole ninth floor minus the psych department were covid so with that being said i pretty much work in the office all day i barely go on my units because again they're covid and if i do have a patient and there is a console for a patient i am literally calling that patient on the phone because i don't want to expose myself my family my co-workers i mean it's it's a lot like I said, there's, of course, you have your own anxieties about coming back. But, you know, the Lord says, fear not, because I am with you. And I stand on that very strong. So, with that being said, you know, mask, socially distance, wash my hands, hand sanitizer. I have every cleaning supply, I mean, at my desk, which I always had prior to COVID. That's just me. Everyone knows in the office, I'm the one that sprays Lysol. I'm the one that vacuums the nasty carpet. I'm the one that has air fresheners. That's just that's just me. I've been in the hospital. I ha I've been working in the hospital since I was 21 years old. So this is over 15 years I've been in hospitals. So I know. But again, the consoles, I could tell you the past week, our hospitals were pretty much, you know, missions were down because people were afraid to come to the hospital. And because they know everybody that was in there was COVID positive, right? But now the word must be out and the heat is on because our census on monday and i happen to be on call was 102. i have not seen that number since march 
and I could tell you today we were at 91 probably hit 100 after I left at 430 who knows but people are coming and of course you're dealing with homelessness we all know we're dealing with substance abuse of course is on the rise and not to mention mental health now the mental health for our patients that we serve I mean people that didn't have mental health they definitely got mental health issues now then you, again staff staff with their own anxieties you know staff that have you know maybe certain things change in their own life so it's a lot I have to say it's a lot <laughs> so you have to be strong and have to be mentally open in a good space to be able to help serve your patients or your clients you know as you know social work right now is is big we are definitely needed so you have to keep i always say i keep myself prayed up um when i wake up in the morning i am praying i have motivated messages encouraging messages bible quotes i watch bible um I watch Joel Austin, you know, um, Sarah Jates, Heather, Liz Heather Lindsay, just name a few of my favorite ones because we have to be in a good space to be able to help our patients. Because if we're not good and we're not taking care of ourselves, then how are we going to be there for our patients? And I can tell you right now, we are so needed and it's heavy. It's a lot. You have, again, we still have a few patients that are passing away and you have patients that we're dealing with people that are coming in positive but then have no place to quarantine they have no place to go because you know family are scared to have them around and you know we're putting them in hotels for 14 days so it, it's a lot i can tell you social work right now it is like the go-to for all when in doubt put a social work console in and that's literally what's happening and it's gonna get worse because come july people still can't pay bills people don't have jobs suicide rate is on a high right now and that's what I said mental health is a lot it's it's really a lot so it's been I, I don't know how I feel about coming back like I said I'm okay with it of course there's days that's better than some there's days where there's too many people in the office and I need them to kind of skedaddle and move along now <laughs> And then there's days where it's fine. It's like two of us in the office. It's fine. It is what it is. We have to find a way to make it work. So this is what they want to bring all of us back on site, whether we agree with that or not, because I felt like we can continue to rotate working from home. I don't know what we were doing fine, I, but there are a few people in the hospital that would like to see us more present because they missed that. We were on the units, you know, so nurses miss that patients miss that i mean the staff miss that because not only where we are support system for the patients we we're also supportive for the staff you know so a lot of people miss seeing social work on the unit seeing our faces seeing us they just want to know that we're there and we were we were there through the phone you know <laughs> but they want to see our presence so we are back on site and again um We'll, we'll see what will happen you know so i just wanted to update you guys on what's going on in my world in my life and then hopefully i can get back into where we kind of left off on like social work and kind of like the lesson plans that i had in place prior to this virus trying to take over our life but hopefully i can get back to you know doing more routines for you but i just wanted to check in see how you guys are doing i know school is out colleges are out school is out so everybody's probably excited to get a break because i think we all deserve it but we will see you know but i can definitely say um definitely definitely pay attention to your mental health if you need help reach out someone to talk to reach out because mental health is on the rise i mean there's a lot of issues and concerns that people are dealing with real life crisis that people are dealing with hungerness people have no food they don't know how they're going to pay the bills they don't have no daycare issues so they have to pick between child care and their jobs so there's a lot going on right now the aftermath is is a lot it's overwhelming at times but this too shall pass and we will get through it so i just want to check in with you guys real quick i mean what's going on if you're a social worker what's going on in your town or city or state um if you work in a hospital like me or if you work in an agency i know agencies are still doing telehealth not all of them are back to 
on site because um, we work with a lot of agencies and some of them are still either doing phone screenings phone screenings or they're doing telehealth or they're you know they're not making a lot of home visits um, even our department of children and families so there's a lot you know so I just wanted to check in with you guys and I will see you in my next video thanks for watching now um, sidebar I did get different lighting hopefully this is better don't mind me um this is makeup from like 6 a.m I'm about to go wash my face take a shower and get ready for my bed so but anyway i just want to check in with y'all um hopefully the sign is a little better but i'm working on it bye